during the pandemic. All of us are trying to get more bang for our buck by making things last a little longer. A St. Paul artist is no different. She is embracing the unusual during an unusual year. In this week's Finding Minnesota, WCCO's John Lordson got a lesson in upcycling at the Center for Lost Objects in St. Paul. Along West 7th Street in St. Paul, you get a vintage feel. Days of old transformed into days of new, which is why this place fits in so perfectly. Do you think the creator ever envisioned them becoming rock stars? No. But here they are. Here they are. The Center for Lost Objects is exactly how it sounds. Founded by comedian, musician, and artist Amy Buchanan, things that would normally end up at the bottom of a dumpster are getting a second chance. This was kind of the culmination of all the arts that I've practiced. I get to practice all of them here. It's kind of like a playground for me of um, all the tools. Years ago, Amy began repurposing the unwanted and eccentric. She was also trying to prove a point that things really are built to last. So these are leather chairs made out of leather jackets. These leather jackets would have been thrown away. Furniture is her specialty. She combined an old chair with an old Elvis tapestry and turned them into a throne for the king of rock and roll. Even the creepy dolls get a second chance. I put plants in those, and that was because I got literally 500 doll heads at once. It's an ironic example of one person's trash. I ran out and picked up the pieces and then glued them to this thing. Becoming another person's treasure. Hello, welcome. Ideas walk through her door every day, and sometimes she'll go out and find them herself. And that's what we find a lot are unfinished projects, unfinished clothing that wasn't finished sewing, jewelry that is broken and that people would have saved their entire life. The earrings are turned into jewelry. Vintage clothing becomes part of a new wardrobe. That's you, John. Even someone else's black and white photographs are we repurposed. Look for things like old cars. People collect pictures of hay bales. There's a whole hay bale like world. Well, yep. It's all part of a Twin Cities upcycling push that's rubbed off on other artists. There are little treasures everywhere you glance, um, so working here has been a huge inspiration. Lily Vanderwood is an art student who works for Amy. One of her specialties is giving old jeans a new look. We get a lot of things from lifelong collectors, and going through their things even after they've passed, it's kind of like um, living those experiences with them. All while keeping their memories and histories alive. So it's just about, you know, how your eyes see things. And um, for me, I see potential in everything. In St. Paul, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Amy says her upcycling inspiration comes from her late father and grandmother. For more information on what she's creating and other upcycling artists, just visit WCCO.com links.